Ladies and gentlemen, do not doubt me. When I tell you I know these liberals and I know these leftists better than I know myself, better than I know every square inch of my glorious naked body, do not doubt me. Dan Rather has spoken up and is backing Brian Williams. You stay right where you are. I don't have enough time to treat it properly before now in the ear-splitting tone, which will happen in mere seconds. But don't go anywhere because it'll be the first thing that I inform you of when we get back. There's that ear-splitting tone. Be patient. Having more fun than a human being should be allowed to have Rush Limbaugh executing assigned host duties flawlessly. Zero mistakes. You can hunt, you can search, you can look. You're not going to find any. You know why? Because I assign myself the duties. Therefore, there can be no mistakes. It just doesn't happen. 800-282-2882 if you want to be on the program. So I got an email from a friend. She said, I can hear it in your voice. You just, you're having trouble going all in on Brian Williams. And that's that's true, folks. I'm telling you, I've... This is, I've always liked Brian. Brian Williams has, has always been fair to me. You know how odd, or not, not odd, rare that is? I can count on one hand in 27 years the number of people that we would call mainstream journalists who have been consistently fair with me. He's one of them. But I don't mean to be holding back. It's just it's just hard to pile on. I don't understand it. I mean, I do understand it. It's it's clear as a bell what happened here, but I mean, I don't I don't understand doing it. But the point is, it is it is what happens in the in the news today. It is what else is are they making up wherever you look? And this wasn't even about advancing an agenda. This this was this was about personal aggrandizement saying that you were aboard a helicopter shot down. I mean, this wasn't even part of the news stories denigrating the war effort. So you can imagine, and we know that NBC makes things up. We know that NBC doctors 9-11 tapes and blows up trucks to make it look like they're happen- it's happening uh, without any assistance from NBC. And we know what goes on in the drive-by media, but this is just a classic, bold-faced example of it. There is, there's no question. I mean, you look at, look at the people that MSNBC has fired for things that are much, much less than this. They've they fired Oberdork. They fired some guy named Sink Uger. They fired Martin Bashir because he told a total lie about slaveholders making slaves eat excrement or something when that movie came out, 12 Years a Slave, or whatever it was. He just totally made up some absolutely horrendous, reprehensible story about it. Oh, that's right. He suggested Sarah Palin should have to eat the whatever. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. I mean, these people are just, they're filled with their, they're, they're overflowing their hatred and their rage and their anger. And they clearly will make it up if it advances the agenda. That's why I don't even call what they're doing anymore journalism. And that's why they're not news readers. They're narrative readers. Anyway, Dan Rather, I, I told you they're going to try to circle the wagons to protect the news. Dan Rather, the Politico has a story, Dan Rather backs Brian Williams. If I'm if I'm Brian, well, the last guy I want speaking up for me is Dan Rather. Dan Rather of fake documents and George W. Bush and National Guard fame. That's the last guy I want throwing a party for me. But anyway, from the article, Dan Rather. Well, I don't know the particulars about that day in Iraq. I do know Brian. He is a longtime friend, and we've been in a number of war zones and on the same battlefields, competing, but together. Brian is an honest, decent man, an excellent reporter and anchor, and a brave one. Well, what do you do with that? Because that (laughs) 
sad to say, is not commensurate with any element of this story. Longtime friend, we've been in a number of war zones and on the same battlefields, competing with together. He's an honest, decent man, excellent reporter, and an anchor, and a brave one. Anyway, that's just the first one I think are going to be many. They circle the wagons, folks. They protect. In this case, they're going to be protecting the news. They're going to be protecting liberalism. They're going to be protecting the image of liberalism and the drive-by media and all of that. Um, just like Jennings and Brokaw threw rather his own awards banquet after he made up that story about George W. Bush.